Hello friends, this video on alcohol phenol and ether part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So till now we have studied the naming of alcohol. We also studied how to prepare alcohol. Right. So now we have prepared alcohol. We want to learn its properties, physical properties. So we'll learn the physical state, the boiling point, solubility and density. So we learn all these physical properties of alcohol. We'll start with the physical state. So if you see here, the lower alcohols are generally colorless liquid at room temperature. And the higher ones, the lower alcohols also has the pleasant smell and they have burning taste. If you talk about the intermediate ones, they don't have good smell, they have bad smell. And the higher ones, they are not having any smell, they don't have any taste. The lower ones are good, right? They are liquid, they are their smell is good and they have burning taste also and that's why uh, they are also used for beverages, for drinks, because they have pleasant smell, burning taste. But if you go higher, it becomes solid. If you see, these are the solids one. They don't have any smell, right? And also the branched alcohols are not having any smell and they are solid. So if you see, alcohols can be liquid, alcohols can be solid. These are the lower ones. Are my higher ones or branched? Okay, jelly branch are solids. Tertiary butyl alcohol. If you see, this is tertiary butyl alcohol. This is solid. So we talk about alcohol boiling point. There is one factor that is playing a critical role that is H bond, and that's why the boiling point of lower alcohols. If you see. If you when you compare with other hydrocarbons of the similar molecular mass, for example, ethers, haloalkenes, haloalkenes, if you see, compare, the alcohols has higher boiling point. And this is mainly because of hydrogen bonding. Because of hydrogen bonding, the lower alcohols have higher boiling point when you compare with other hydrocarbons of similar molecular mass. And as we have seen in other chapter also, the, boil the boiling point increases with the molecular mass. Heavier the compound, more is the boiling point. Also, it decreases with increase in branching. So if you see this guy, let's suppose I'll draw here. Butanol, this has 391 Kelvin as the boiling point. You do a branching here, right? This becomes 381. You do one more branching here. This is 353 for So if you see here, the boiling point is decreasing with branching. So branching is directly proportional to boiling point. Why? Because when you increase the branching, you decrease the hydrogen bond. Correct. You increase the bond branching, you decrease the hydrogen bond, and thus the boiling point decrease with increase in branching. See, you increase the branching, you increase the branching, then due to more steric hindrance, if you compare this guy and this guy, this is because of more steric hindrance, right? It is not able to, hydrogen bond is weak. But here the hydrogen bond is strong because this can easily connect to other uh, alcohol molecule, right? Hydrogen bond is pretty weak, strong here. But in this case, if you see, it can bond only in this side. So the hydrogen bond is weak. If there's one uh, One more group here, let's suppose. The bonding is not possible here, right? No, correct. It's very deep. distance is more the V, the bonding is V, right? So, the, the more you increase the branch, the less is the hydrogen bonding. With a straight chain, the hydrogen bonding is pretty easy, right? If it is in this side, or let's suppose another uh, phenyl was in this side. You can still form a bond. 
correct but since it is more branch because of steric hindrance right so this can cannot form bond with uh, any alcohol molecule in this side this side it can form bond only with alcohol molecule in this side so because of the orientation because of the steric hindrance the hydrogen bonding is weaker in this case right to increase the branching decrease the hydrogen bonding you decrease the hydrogen bonding that means you decrease the boiling point because this is the boiling point is totally dependent on hydrogen bonding in case of alcohol so if you see the solubility the first three alcohols are soluble in water in all proportion but it decreases with increase in size of alkyl you see the way it works is this is my alcohol and now if it is if you see it is bonded to other water molecule right this lone pair is bonded to one water molecule this lone pair one water molecule and this hydrogen one water molecule so with this it increase the solubility right so first lower uh, if we increase the molecular mass of the alcohol the solubility also decrease because this parts become bigger right this part is same this part is same but this part becomes bigger the solubility decrease if this part is also less right the bonding is more because this part is not involved in bonding this is the extra luggage right this is live extra luggage liability i can say a burden if you don't understand the word liability this is the burden so smaller the burden the better it is right if it is only ch3 this bonds can the strong bond can easily take care but if it is a very big uh, compound right it is very 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 big compound let's suppose here so whatever hydrogen bond it can have only three hydrogen bonds with other water molecule like this right now but this is the extra burden this is very heavy this hydrogen bond will not be able to hold this so it will not be soluble correct let's talk about density so alcohols are lighter than water they are lighter than water they float on water but their density increase with increase in molecular mass that is the general trend we have seen in other hydrocarbons also now we'll take some numericals we have to arrange this in the order of boiling point so what we have seen this till now is boiling point is directly proportional to molecular mass and boiling point is inversely proportional to branching right you increase the branching that means you are decreasing the hydrogen bond you are decreasing the hydrogen bond that means it is becoming easy right to pluck out so boiling point is directly in directly proportional to molecular mass inversely proportional to branching so let's see this the first one i have is uh, pentane one all butane one all butane two all ethanol propanol methanol so let me draw the structure of all these now pentane one all i'm drawing for this now in red 1 2 3 4 5 and oh this is pentane one all butane one all 1 2 3 4 and 1 oh butane two all 1 2 3 4 and oh here ethanol with eth nol propane one all 1 with eth pro nol and methanol correct so we say that boiling ball increase with molecular mass which has the maximum molecular mass this guy right so this guy is number 1 the second molecular mass butane right only one in the butane form or two i have butane one all butane two all which has branching branching decreases the boiling point right so without branching is better this is without branching so this is second position this is with branching third position correct and then after butane we are looking for propane So propane, I have this here. This guy. So I have in propane only one option, propane. Then one carbon less is ethane, ethanol. This guy. 
this guy is fifth. And then with now, six, yeah. So my methanol is list, least, and my pentanol, pentanol has a maximum boiling point. This is my order. Let's see the an example in green now. Let me first draw the structure. Pentane, one all same. And then N butane, pentanol, and ethoxy methane. Ethoxy ethane. This is the structure. Correct. So we have told that the alcohol has a maximum boiling point when you compare with other hydrocarbons. So here if you see, anyway this, if you compare one to this guy and this guy, right, they are the one with higher molecular mass, this will be the maximum boiling point, correct, but it has OH bond and this will be the second, this is done. Now when you compare N-butane and ethoxyethane, N-butane, this has more molecular mass, so it will be third and this has less molecular mass, so it will be fourth. So this is my order. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So pentanol has the maximum boiling point. Correct. So let's see this now. One more numeric. The question is why ethanol has higher boiling point as compared to methoxymethane. So ethanol is meth it this guy. Methoxymethane is this. Both has same molecular mass. Actually, let me draw this truck. Hydrogens here. Both has same molecular mass. Now we have known that if we have same molecular mass, alcohol will have higher boiling point. Why? Because of hydrogen bond. So because this guy will participate in hydrogen bond. Ethanol will participate in hydrogen bond, but methoxymethane will not. So, ethanol will have higher boiling point. The question is why propanol has higher boiling point than butane? That is the question. I have a propanol and I have butane. It says that propanol has higher boiling point. Let's see. This is my propanol and this is my butane. First thing is if you compare the molecular mass, this guy has more molecular mass and this guy has hydrogen bond also, right? Propanol has more molecular mass more and hydrogen bond also. So both the condition favors propanol to have higher boiling point if we compare to, you see this is my butane and this is my propanol, so we compare these two right so it, the propanol has more molecular mass that favors high boiling point propanol has hydrogen bond that also favors high boiling point so the question is alcohols are more soluble in water in hyd than hydrocarbons of comparable molecular mass very easy it's all because of hydrogen bond so if you see roh for example i have r o and h so this if you see can react then easily dissolve with one water molecule here, one water molecule here, and this guy can also be dissolved in one water. So if you see this guy gets trapped in water molecule because of hydrogen bond, right? These alcohols are soluble in water. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.